Spacer mesh and foam padding, introduced in the late 1990s for warfighter comfort and impact protection, became standard by the early 2000s. Two decades later, innovation is stalled. As we reassess comfort, ventilation, and performance in 2024, we've got to ask, are spacer mesh and foam still the best options? In this video, we compare ventilated padding options. Today's lineup includes the Cry Precision AVS Harness Set, Ferro Concepts Plate Comfort Pads, Core Performance Ice Fence Pontoons, Shaw Concepts Arc V2 Spacer Mesh Pads, Shaw Concepts Stratus Fit PC Pads, SKD Tactical Pig AFC Pontoons, and T-Rex Arms Plate Backer. Although Spacer Mesh is now less common in modular systems, We've included the Shaw Concepts discontinued spacer mesh pads to compare foam padding, spacer mesh, and ice vents. This evaluation covers products and materials. The empirical results speak for themselves. What is the best option for warfighters in the 21st century? Let's dive into this episode of Core Performance Insights to find out. For new viewers, welcome to our Insights series, where we go beyond traditional reviews. Using empirical, data-driven analysis, we answer your questions on enhancing end-user performance and integrating the Ice Age ecosystem's thermal regulation and hydration tools with popular plate carriers. Our videos are pure data, no opinions, no guesswork, no assumption, to help you make informed decisions and unlock your full potential. This is building a superhuman future. This is core performance. Let's talk relationship disclosures. We have no affiliation with any manufacturers featured in today's video. Although Ice Vents is our proprietary and patented technology, we've included it because Ice Vents are one of the options available in this market segment as of October 2024. Our priority is exposing you to options that can enhance your performance. YouTube shows that only 8% of viewers subscribe to our channel. Support Liberty. Hit the subscribe, like, and notification buttons to help us empower freedom lovers everywhere. Weight is a big deal for human beings. Ounces make pounds and pounds make pain. Many have heard it, most know it, but we've all felt it. When it comes to comfort and ventilation padding, ask yourself, are the decisions that the manufacturer made when designing their products the best decisions for you as an individual? Thermal regulation is not a fashion statement. It is a requirement for human survival. It's as fundamental to human survival as food, water, and shelter. Without the ability to effectively thermoregulate, humans cannot effectively perform. Ventilation is the key factor to keep in mind throughout this video and during your decision-making process when purchasing padding whereas weight is more of a nominal factor. With that in mind, let's put each option on the scale. A quick note, we've included weights for single pads in our testing, as well as the final totals, both wet and dry, for each padding option based on equipping one plate bag to maintain a standard of comparison if a set was only available as a full front and back plate bag like the Shaw Concepts ARC V2 pads. We only use data for equipping one of the plate bags. The Cry Precision AVS pads weigh 17 grams for the smaller pad and 21 grams for the larger pad. The total dry weight of this six pad system is 110 grams. A single Ferro Concepts comfort pad weighs 37 grams. The total dry weight of this two pad system is 74 grams. One Core Performance Ice Fence Pontoon weighs 32 grams. The total dry weight of this two pad system is 64 grams. A single Shaw Concepts Arc V2 pad weighs 33 grams. The total dry weight of this two pad system is 66 grams. One Shaw Concept Stratus Fit pad weighs 14 grams regardless of the shape. The total dry weight of this four pad system is 56 grams. A single SKD tactical pontoon weighs 20 grams. The total dry weight of this two pad system is 40 grams. A single T-Rex plate backer weighs 47 grams. The total dry weight of this two pad system is 94 grams. Whether salt water or sweat, your equipment's ability to repel and shed water weight quickly can dramatically impact operator performance. This is why we measure wet weight. Our wet weight experimental design is simple. It is the same for all products we test in this series. Submerge the padding system in water for 60 minutes. Remove the test subject and hang to dry for 60 seconds. Record the weight. We conduct all of these tests inside our brand new HQ2 facility in Knoxville, Tennessee. This ensures external variables like sunlight, wind, etc. are absent. Now, let's dunk each option and put it back on the scale. The Cry Precision AVS pads weighs 23 grams for the smaller pad and 27 grams for the larger pad. The total wet weight of this six pad system is 146 grams. The Ferro Concepts Comfort Pads weigh 41 grams. The total wet weight of this two pad system is 82 grams. The Core Performance Ice Vents Pontoons weigh 48 grams. The total wet weight of this two pad system is 96 grams. The Shaw Concepts Arc V2 Pads weigh 70 grams. The total wet weight of this two pad system is 140 grams. The Shaw Concepts Stratus Fit Pads weigh 19 grams, regardless of the shape. 
The total wet weight of this four pad system is 76 grams. The SKD Tactical Pontoons weigh 27 grams. The total wet weight of this two pad system is 54 grams. The T-Rex Platebacker weighs 90 grams. The total wet weight of this two pad system is 180 grams. Materials. Core Performance Ice Fence Plate Carrier Ventilation Pontoons are made from an impact-absorbing hexagonal honeycomb stimuli, thermoplastic elastomer, or TPE. The Cry Precision AVS Harness Pad Set, Ferro Concepts Comfort Pads, Shaw Concepts Stratusfit PC Pads, SKD Tactical Pig AFC Pontoons, and the T-Rex Plate Backers are all made from foam. The Shaw Concepts Arc V2 pads are made from spacer mesh. What is thermal transmittance, and why does it matter for equipment like pontoons or load-bearing pads? Thermal transmittance refers to the rate at which heat moves through a material. In the context of comfort pads or pontoons, we're talking about the equipment's body face inside. When a material, such as a wall or a plate bag, is well insulated, it has a low thermal transmittance, which makes it effective at protecting against external temperature changes. It is ideal for homes, vehicles, or cold weather gear. On the other hand, poorly insulated materials have a high thermal transmittance, which is beneficial for active or athletic apparel like running gear, PT outfits, combat uniforms, or plate carriers. High thermal transmittance allows the body to release excess heat generated during intense physical activity. Given the tactical gear inherently provides some level of insulation, choosing equipment such as plate carriers and body armor with the highest possible thermal transmittance is crucial. Essentially, you need gear with minimal insulation to enable your body's natural cooling processes to function optimally. Those processes help you manage your body temperature independently of your gear. Preventing heat-related issues is critical to staying effective and increasing your chances of survival in the field. Some plate carriers, such as our Ice Plate Exo Gen 3, augment and enhance your body's natural thermal regulation mechanisms, boosting your physiological performance. For carriers lacking this feature, you can integrate items from our Ice Age ecosystem like the IMS Pro, IMS Versa, Ice Vents, and Catamaran to improve their thermal efficiency. For a detailed understanding of heat transfer methods and their relevance to your gear, check out the infographics in our Insights blog article, The Methods of Heat Transfer, linked in the show notes below, and our all-new blog, Thermal Physiology and the Environment. To maintain consistent testing, we standardize the placement of all compared products during the thermal transmittance test. Placement consistency is essential to remember when we get to the T-Rex Arms and Ferro Concepts plate pads. Instead of placing them inside the plate bag where they would typically go, we put them on top of the plate bag for experimental design consistency. For all of the super nerds out there that want to know the experimental design for our thermal transmittance testing, here it is. Take a FLIR camera surface reading of the body face inside of the plate bag at room temperature. Next, place a single ice plate curve fresh out of the freezer into that same plate bag. Close the plate bag and place a hard armor plate on top of it for 30 seconds to simulate the effect of putting it on the plate carrier. Use short exposure time to test efficiency, not capacity. Then, remove the hard armor plate from the surface of the subject plate bag. Finally, take a new FLIR surface temperature reading. All results from our thermal transmittance testing will be displayed in degrees Fahrenheit. The Cry Precision AVS pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 80 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature of 75 degrees, resulting in a thermal shift of 5 degrees. The Ferro Concepts Comfort pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 78 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature of 73 degrees, yielding a thermal shift of 5 degrees. The Core Performance Ice Vents pontoons recorded a baseline surface temperature of 80 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature temperature of 72 degrees, yielding a thermal shift of 8 degrees. The Shaw Concepts Arc V2 pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 80 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature of 78 degrees, resulting in a thermal shift of 2 degrees. The Shaw Concepts Stratus Fit pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 80 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature of 76 degrees, which gives us a thermal shift of 4 degrees. The SKD Tactical Pontoons recorded a baseline surface temperature of 80 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature of 75 degrees, which results in a thermal shift of 5 degrees. Finally, the T-Rex Platebacker recorded a baseline surface temperature of 77 degrees and an ice plate inside temperature of 75 degrees, which yields a thermal shift of 2 degrees. What do these numbers mean? We provided two data tables for an unbiased analytical context, mean on the left and median on the right. As a quick refresher, the mean, often called the average, is the sum of all values divided by the number of values. The median is the middle value of a data set when ordered from smallest to largest. If there is an even number of observations, it is the average of the two middle values. When the data is symmetrically distributed and you want to account for all values, including extreme ones, you should use the mean. 
The median is the preferred analytical tool when the data is skewed or contains outliers that might distort the mean. The smaller the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the lower the thermal transmittance of that pontoon or comfort pad. Pontoons or comfort pads with smaller spreads will trap and retain heat, making you hotter. The larger the spread between the initial or baseline surface temperature and the surface reading at room temperature, the higher the thermal transmittance of that equipment. Pontoons or comfort pads with these larger spreads are better at removing heat to let your body's thermal regulation mechanisms work as naturally as possible. Thermal transmittance testing with the ice plate is typically the most distinctive test in our series. However, we are incorporating a second thermal transmittance test for this unique video. While similar to our ice plate test, which measures cooling efficiency, this version focuses on measuring heat absorption and blockage. By testing various materials, we aim to demonstrate the effectiveness of different designs and material technologies at allowing heat to pass from your body through your equipment. The 120 volt heat lamp, which utilizes a 10 inch reflector and 250 watt bulb, mimics the human body's natural heat emission. We are measuring the degree to which each material retains heat through insulation. For this next test, the experimental design breaks down as follows. First, a baseline surface temperature reading of the material must be taken. After that, allow the heat lamp to warm up for five minutes. Next, place a comfort pad or pontoon in front of the heat lamp two feet away. Let the heat lamp directly warm the pontoon or comfort pad for 90 seconds, taking readings every 30 seconds. Finally, take the average of the three readings and subtract the average from the baseline surface temperature to get your result. The Cry Precision AVS pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 74 degrees and an average heated temperature of 80 degrees, yielding a thermal shift of 6 degrees. The Ferro Concepts Comfort Pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 74 degrees and an average heated temperature of 83 degrees, which gives them a thermal shift of 9 degrees. The Core Performance Ice Fence Plate Carrier Ventilation Pontoons recorded a baseline surface temperature of 73 degrees and an average heated temperature of 85 degrees, which yields a thermal shift of 12 degrees. The Shaw Concepts Arc V2 Pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 74 degrees and an average heated temperature of 81 degrees, which comes out to a thermal shift of 7 degrees. The Shaw Concept Stratus Fit PC pads recorded a baseline surface temperature of 72 degrees and an average heated temperature of 79 degrees, which yields a thermal shift of 7 degrees. The SKD Tactical Pontoons recorded a baseline surface temperature of 73 degrees and an average heated temperature of 80 degrees, giving them a thermal shift of 7 degrees. Finally, the T-Rex Plate Backer recorded a baseline surface temperature of 71 degrees and an average heated temperature of 77 degrees, yielding a thermal shift of 6 degrees. These tables demonstrate the effectiveness of different designs and material technologies at allowing heat to pass from your body through your equipment. These products have one thing in common. Their manufacturers focus on providing their customers with perceived comfort and theoretical airflow channels. However, over two decades of use, the foam and spacer mesh padding features have mostly stayed the same. The only differential technology comes in the form of the Core Performance Ice Fence Hexagonal Honeycomb Ventilation Matrix, which utilizes omnidirectional airflow channels to maximize load distribution and ventilation, which increases comfort. Depending on the plate carrier you prefer, you want to be sure that the equipment you purchase can be mounted and removed reliably. Here are the attachment methods for each of the products we are covering today. The Cry Precision AVS Harness Pads, Core Performance Ice Fence Pontoons, Shaw Concepts, Arc V2 Pads and Stratus Fit PC Pads, and SKD Tactical PIG AFC Pontoons all attach a Velcro hook to plate carriers with internal Velcro loop fields. The Ferro Concepts Comfort Pads and the T-Rex Arms Plate Backer slide directly into the plate carrier bag with no standard attachment method. From colorways to sizing, let's explore the variety of these products. The Cry Precision AVS Harness Pads, Core Performance Ice Fence Pontoons, and the Shaw Concepts Stratus Fit Plate Carrier Pads are only available in one size and black. The Ferro Concepts Comfort Pads are available in gray. They are compatible with plates ranging from small, 8 by 10 inches, to extra large, 11 by 14 inches, and are approximately 5 16ths or 0.3125 inches thick. The SKD Tactical Pontoons are available in one size in Black, Coyote, Multicam, and Ranger Green. The T-Rex Arms Plate Backers are available only in Wolf Gray. Each backer is 12 inches tall by 9.5 inches wide and half an inch thick. The T-Rex Arms website states that the backers are sized for small plates but will also work for medium and large plates. Country of origin is a critical consideration when selecting equipment. It's a dependable but not absolute indicator of innovation, quality, and craftsmanship. Where do these products come from? All of the padding options we've included in this video are made in the USA. Most of us have learned the hard way that cutting corners on equipment comes with a cost. Our advice? Do your research and buy once, cry once. Invest in quality now and avoid regrets later. And since you're smart enough to be here watching this insights video, 
you're already on the right track. So how much will each padding option cost you? The Cry Precision AVS harness pads cost $77.40. The Ferro Concepts comfort pads are $30. The Core Performance Ice Vents ventilation pontoons come out to $75. The Shaw Concepts Arc V2 spacer mesh pads are discontinued. The Shaw Concepts Stratus Fit PC pads are $60. The SKD Tactical Pig AFC pontoons are $20, and the T-Rex Arms plate backer set is $35. That concludes our comparison of ice vents versus foam versus spacer mesh. We hope you found it both informative and enjoyable. What do you prefer to run in your kit? Share your stories and insights in the comments below. If you're interested in the latest in all aspect thermal regulation, follow us on Instagram at Core Performance and subscribe to our Launchpad email list to join us in building a superhuman future. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay frosty.